Welcome to Crochet Woman. Today I'd like to show you how you can crochet this little and sweet strawberry. I've made this for my jam blankets and if you like you can make a big one as well. Just look in my playlist. But today I'd like to show you how you can make these wonderful and sweet strawberry. And they are very easy to make and you can use them for any kind and lovely decoration. You can crochet them very fast, you just need a little red cotton yarn number 3. I crocheted it with a hook number 2.5 and green cotton yarn number 3 as well, white cotton yarn number 3 as well, a little needle and scissors for sure. And some fiber fill. But now let's start my print. Just make a loop in the beginning. Crushing now. Three more loops. Go in the first loop you have made. And close this little ring with a slip stitch. I just come a little bit closer. Just um, make one loop and crochet now six single crochets in this little ring like you can see it. This was the second one and now I crochet the third and the fourth, the fifth. And the six now. Now close this little ring with a slip stitch. For that, go in the first chain you have made. Take the yarn and go through all loops. Just one moment. <laughs> okay, now I get it. Um, just um, close every row with a slip stitch and start every new row with one loop. Now we are doubling every chain. That means that we are crushing two single crushes in one and the same chain. So that we have 12 chains in the end of a row. Now we have got six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Just close this row with a slip stitch again and start the new row with one loop. What they are doing in the next three rows is very easy to do. Uh, we are just crushing single crochets in every chain so that we are crushing 12 single crochets for the next three rows in every row. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and the last one, twelve. Close this row with one slip stitch and start the new row with one loop. So this was our first row in single crochets. Now we are crushing our second row. So one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and now the last one. Twelve. Close this row with a slip stitch and start the new row with one loop. Now we are crocheting our third row in single crochets. Our three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Just close the road with a slip stitch and start the new road with one loop. You see, it works very fast. What we are doing at next is to put every fourth and every Fourth chain together. I show it now. Just go with the hook in the next chain, take the yarn one time, go in the next chain, take the one yarn as well, and go through all four loops. Now you have put the third and the fourth chain together. This is what we are repeating the whole road. Put them together now and one single crochet in the next row chain and in the next chain one single crochet as well. And now we are putting the third and the fourth together again. Close this row with a slip stitch as well. And what we're doing next is we are taking our fiber fill and fill the strawberry. But at first, cut the little yarn inside. You don't have to stitch them up, just put it inside of the strawberry. And now take your fiber fill and fill the little strawberry. As strong as you want it. Just only take a little bit fiber fill. That's really enough for the sweet little strawberry. Okay. For sure, it's your decision how strong your strawberry has to be. And uh, now take the yarn again, and in the next row. For sure, we're starting with one loop and we are crushing every second and every third chain together in the way we have done it in the last round. So, one single crochet and now crochet the second and the third chain together. One single crochet again. Sorry, I missed the camera a little bit, but I hope you will get it. And crochet the second and the third chain together again. Now close the road with one slip stitch. And our little strawberry is nearly finished now. Just you can take just a little bit fiber fill and put it inside. But first, take the loop and go one time through the loop and cut the yarn. Let the yarn as long as you need it to stitch up the little hole of the strawberry. So now you can take your fiber fill and I use my hook to put it inside that it looks really nicely in the end. 
When you have done it, you just、uh, only have to take your needle, and you can start to close this little hole here. I just show it. Just go with a needle through the change of our last row and put it together till this hole is closed. You can see it, I think, in the video how I do it, but for sure you can do it in the way you like it as well. The needle doesn't work. I think I will take another one. So now I get it. Sorry. So you see, our hole is just closed. I go one time here, and another time there. And now I go inside. Just on the other side, I come out with the needle, and now you can take your scissors and cut the yarn. So this is finished. Sorry. Okay. What we are needing now is are the little leaves here for the strawberry. They are very easy to make as well. Just take your green yarn, make one loop. And now crochet four loops. Three, four. I just come a little bit closer. Now go with the hook in the first chain you have made and make one slip stitch to close the ring. Ah, we are starting now with four loops. One. Two, three, four, and now we are going in the first chain from the needle here and make one slip stitch. And now in the next two chains we are crushing one single crochet, and here is the second single crochet. Now just go with the needle in the middle of the ring, make one slip stitch, and fasten the leaf with the slip stitch at the ring. So this we have to repeat six times so that we have seven leaves in the end. Just go in the first chain from the needle and make one slip stitch. And after that, one single crochet and a second single crochet in the next chain. Make one slip stitch again to fasten the leaf at the ring. And now just make four loops again. And、four. Go in the first chain from the needle, and again two single crochets, one slip stitch in the ring, and four single crochet. Four, sorry, four loops, and one slip stitch in the first chain. Two single crochets and one slip stitch in the ring. So I think we need another one, two, three, four loops, one slip stitch, first single crochet. And the second single crochet. See, it's very easy to do, and you can work very fast as well. One slip stitch, 
and I think I need another one. One, two, three, four, and one slip stitch. I we have done it, and one single crochet and second single crochet, and now one slip stitch. So now just take uh, the yarn and crochet four single crochets again. This is our last leaf we are creating. And slip stitch and two single crochets. Okay. Now one slip stitch and our leaves are finished. To create uh, the stock, just take the loop on the top and, and crochet six loops. And now go uh, in the first loop from the chain and crochet one single crochet and in the left loops one single crochet again. I need some yarn so here is one single crochet and the last single crochet in the road with the loops. Now go with the needle on the other side of this ring and go between this space here where you have made the slip stitch to fasten the leaves, take the yarn and make one slip stitch. Now you have fastened the stalk at the leaves. Just make one loop and now you can cut the yarn. Let the la yarn as long as you need it to stitch it up at the little strawberry. This is what you have to do next. Just take the little strawberry and stitch up the leaves with the stalk. And if you have done it and I have done it, we will meet us again. The little strawberry is nearly finished now. Uh, we only have to take now the white cotton yarn and the needle to create the white points. Just go with the needle in one place on the, at the top and now make short lines. Just go in here with the needle and just take the same line. I take the same line if you want to take another line for sure. It's no problem and just make short lines around the strawberry so that you get these little white points. For sure you can make it in yellow as well and it's your decision like ever what you are doing because it's your strawberry. So now I think it's the last one in this line. So go on in the same way. Just go one line under and go between the little points before and create so the white points in the second line. Okay. You see it's very easy. If you want to make it in another way just do it. It's just only an advice from me how you can make it, but for sure you can make it in every way you like to do it. So we are nearly finished now with our strawberry. Just the last road, I think I make these white points. 
may I go a little bit under here one time and another time here and one time more there and here I go out and make a little one here and the end so between that line. Okay, one more. And you see I come out here on the other side. I think here is one left. <clears throat> but now I'm finished. I just come out with the yarn on the other side to stitch the yarn up. Now you only have to take your scissors, cut the yarn. And finish is this little sweet strawberry. I hope you have enjoyed my video and I'm wishing you a lot of fun by doing it by yourself. Um, and for sure I'm very happy about a thumbs up or a comment if you like my video and it would be great if you can share it with someone as well. Thank you so much. Hope to see you soon. Bye.